Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins, your host of the Marvel DC Universe Fan Club. We are now episode 221, and I'll be doing my review on Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. So spoiler alert, if you have not seen Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, I strongly suggest that you do not listen to this episode. You've been warned. So, um, following a threat of revenge, Revenge by the revived Emperor uh, Palpatine, Palpatine. Kylo Ren obtains a Sith uh, Wayfinder, leading him to the uncharted planet Hexagon. There he finds Palpatine, Palpatine, who reveals that he created Snoke as a puppet to control the First Order and lure Kylo to the dark side. Palpatine Palpatine un- uh, unveils a secret armada of Star Destroyers and tells Kylo to find and kill Rey, who is continuing her Jedi training under Resistance Order uh, Leia Organa. Finn and Poe Dem- Demeron deliver intel from a spy that Palpatine is on, um, sorry, that Palpatine is on Exegol. Ray has learned from Luke Skywalker's notes that a Sith Wayfinder can lead uh, them there. Uh, Ray, Finn, Poe, Chewbacca, BB-8, and C-3PO depart in the Millennium Falcon to Posada, where Luke search where uh, Luke's uh, search for Exegol ended. On Posada, the group encounters Lando. Uh, Calrissian, um, who points them to the Wayfinder's last suspected location. Kylo, learn, Kylo learns where Rey is through their uh, force bond and travels there with his uh, warrior subordinates, the Knights of uh, Ren. <laughs> Rey and the others um, discover the remains of a Jedi hunter named Orchi, his ship and a dagger inscribed with Sith text, which CPO's programming forbids him from interpreting. Sensing that uh, Kylo is nearby, Rey goes to confront him. Uh, The First Order captures the the Falcon, Chewbacca, and a dagger. Attempting to save Chewbacca, Rey accidentally destroys a First Order transport with uh, Force Lightning. Presuming, uh, presuming that Chewbacca has been killed, the group escapes on Ochi's ship. Poe suggests traveling to uh, Kijimi to have the Sith text extracted from C-3PO's memory. Um, the process reveals uh, coordinates to a Wayfinder. Uh, Ray senses that Ray senses that Chewbacca is alive, and the group mounts a rescue mission. While Kylo searches for Ray, the group infiltrates his uh, Star Destroyer with the help of Zoe Bliss, an acquaintance of Poe's. Uh, Ray, Ray recovers the dagger and uh, has visions of her parents being killed with it. Kylo informs her that she is Palpatine's granddaughter. The Sith Lord um, had ordered uh, Ochi to recover Rey as a child, but her parents hid her from, sorry, hit her uh, on Jakku to protect her. General Hook saves Poe, Finn, and Chewbacca from execution, revealing himself as the spy. He permits the group to escape on the Falcon, but is destroyed and executed. Sorry, but is discovered and executed. The group arrives on Kef Burr, uh, where Ray, Ray, well, sorry, where Ray locates the Wayfinder on the remains of the second Death Star. Upon touching the artifact, she has another. She has a vision of herself as a Sith, having tracked them. 
Kylo destroys uh, Ray's Rayfinder and duels her. Dying, uh, dying Layla calls the Cairo. Sorry, calls the Kylo through the Force, distracting him as Ray imp- impales him. Sensing Leia's death, Ray heals Kylo and takes his ship to exile herself on Axto. There, Luke's um, Force spirit um, encourages Ray to face Palpatine and gives her Leia's lifesaver. Ray leaves for Exegol and Luke's X-Wing uh, fighter using the Wayfinder from Kylo's ship. Meanwhile, so meanwhile, um, Kylo converses with a memory of his father, Han Solo. He throws away his lightsaber and reclaims his identity as Ben Solo. Palpatine has one of his lightsabers equipped uh, star destroyers um, stars destroy obliterates sorry obliterate Kajimi of course so upon the group's return to the resistance base um, R2T, R2D2 receives a signal from Ray and the resistance follows Ray's coordinates to Exegol where he confronts where she confronts Palpatine he demands she kill him to transfer his spirit into her. Landu brings reinforcements from across the galaxy to join the battle. Ben overpowers uh, the knights of Ren and joins Rey. But Palpatine drains the pair's power to rejuvenate himself. She attacks, I'm uh, sorry, he attacks the resistance fleet with force lightning, and incapacitates Ben. Uh, Weakened, Ray hears the voices of past Jedis who lend her her strength. Palpatine, sorry, Palpatine attacks her with his lightning, but Ray deflects it uh, using a Skywalker's lightsaber, killing him and herself. Ben revives her by transforming him, his life force into her. Ray kisses Ben before he dies. Uh, the Resistance destroys the remainder of Palpatine's armada. And people across the galaxy rise up against the First Order. The Resistance returns to their base to celebrate. After the celebration, Ray visits Luke's abandoned childhood home on Tatooine and buries the, lifesa- uh, buries the Skywalker lightsabers. Having built her own, of course, a passerby, uh, a passerby asks her name. As the spirits of Luke and Layla watch, she replies, Ray Skywalker. So anyway, um, I'm going to be honest with you. The movie was not really... It's not a movie I want to see a second time, to be honest with you. But, um... It gets, uh... I guess a 6 out of 10, to be honest with you. I don't like the idea that they brought back Palpatine. And I don't know how the hell... Pap, how the heck Palpatine survived that fall after being killed... After supposedly being killed by Darth Vader. After... You know, when you, when you, for, at, when, uh, after Vader saved Luke from the, F, you know, from the hands of, uh, Palpatine. So, yeah. Wrong move right there. It should have added another villain instead of Palpatine. Now, come on. Palpatine being the granddaughter of, sorry, having a granddaughter? And it was Ray all along. I, I mean, I can't believe that. But, uh, yeah. Shannara about Palpatine back. Second, you know, they really shouldn't have done a third trilogy. You know, the the writing was not as good as I hoped it would be. And, you know, it was good to see, you know, Billy D. Williams, as, you know, reprise his role as Lando. But, um, 
Other than that, you know, special effects was good, no doubt. Cinematography was excellent. I like how they did new species, new life forms, you know. But, however, I just don't like the writing. And I don't like the idea that they brought back, you know, Palpatine. And the fact, and the fact that Palpatine was the daughter, was the grandfather of Ray, you know, Ray, come on. I mean, having Palpatine, you know, Palpatine could have been a memory or something, you know? She could have been like, you know what, I'm, you know, I'm, the, you know, she could, Ray could have still found out that Palpatine was her grandfather, you know, with him dead, you know, but still, he never should have been brought back. And, I, you know, I don't like that um, Kylo Ren died, you know, because, I mean, yeah, he, I guess he had it coming when he killed, you know, Han Solo, but however, he's the last of the Skywalkers. Bloodline. And Ray adopting herself, adopting the name Skywalker? I mean, come on. But yeah, honestly, this shouldn't have been a third trilogy. They should have just stopped after the Return of the after the uh, Return of the Jedi, to be honest with you. They should have just stopped there. Or stopped after episode three. You know. But this Disney Star Wars, no. They pretty, you know, J.J. Abrams, no offense to him, he pretty much ruined the Star Wars franchise with these trilogies, with the third trilogies, pretty much. So, yeah, I definitely not will not be adding that to my Star Wars collection. None of those. Yeah, that third trilogy will not be added to my Star Wars collection at all. Um, I don't think they should make any more, but then again, they're probably going to make more anyway. Uh... Don't really have much have much to say, you know. I mean, introducing it was cool that they introduced new characters, but you know, you killed off late Princess Leia, so I was pretty pissed off about that too. So, all the original characters are dead except for Chewbacca, well, and Lando, pretty much. So, yeah, I was very disappointed in the film, and I kind of cursed that. Pretty much cursed that I seen it. But anyway, um, the movie made $1 billion worldwide with a production budget of $275 million. So, um, yeah, that concludes this review. Feel free to visit us like us on Facebook. We're available on iTunes, Google Play Music App, Spotify, and, of course, YouTube.